Welcome to this video on utilizing traffic fingerprinting for protocol analysis. My name is Darren Delaney from Netfort. First up, let me explain the problem there is with most network monitoring tools which use flow data. So what I have here is a bandwidth utilization report and it is grouping traffic based on the port, the destination port, so like port 80, port 445 Microsoft, port 1433 SQL, BitTorrent, different things. And what that may look okay if I scroll down further and now I get lots of random port numbers. And I scroll down further again and I could be here all day because there's 8,700 different ports in use. So that's problem number one is there's way too much data here. I'm not going to go through all these pages. The second problem is if I drill down on something here like for example port 80 web traffic. What I see now is IP addresses. Now, it could be web traffic, I'm not sure. And I could drill down further on this stuff. And I see an IP address here, data received. And I'd say, okay, well, what is this? Well, I could try and resolve it. So I just gotta copy that here, pop it in here to a, an IP lookup system. And it's CloudFront, okay, it's hosted by Amazon. Now, that is not Amazon, it's not CloudFront. It's some service that's hosted within CloudFront. It could be anything, it could be, you know. And if you decide, okay, well, I don't want this traffic to block CloudFront or Amazon, you're gonna block thousands of different applications and services that, that uh, use those hosted platforms. So I, I, I'm struggling here to understand where my bandwidth is going. So now let's talk about the solution. And the solution is based on traffic fingerprinting. So I'm going to look at the exact same data set. Okay, so just to show, I'm just going to run this again for 24 hours. It should be the same, yeah. So it's this, this data set here. And instead of looking at ports, I'm going to go for reports, top protocols. Because protocols use port, like HTTP, that protocol uses port 80. So now what do we see? Well, firstly, we're down to 26 records. And that's, that's good. And I've got a, a kind of a bite-sized piece of data here that I can work through. And the names are more friendly. Fileshare, Oracle, BitTorrent. But let's go back to the HTTP or the web stuff and drill down. 3.9 gigabytes. I'm still seeing information here that I can read. So like Google Video, Windows Update, Microsoft. These are the actual domain names users are going to. If I drill down on this, network.com, I can see two clients connecting to it. Let's drill down again. I get to see what they're downloading. Okay, and I can get usernames as well. Let's do that just to show. So we got the users here that are downloading from that site. Let's go back. We could drill down further here and get date and time. Okay, so what we're finding out here is that with traffic fingerprinting, not only can we tell what type of traffic is on the network, like HTTP, when we drill down, because we're looking at packets, we can see what the user was doing the websites are going, what they're downloading. Same could apply, for example, to Fileshare. Instead of drilling down and seeing port 45, who knows, could be anything, we get to see the file names. So traffic fingerprinting is vital if you want to understand where your bandwidth is going in today's world. Things have changed with content delivery networks, hosted platforms, cloud services. If you want to know what's happening, then you got to look inside the packets and look at application recognition rather than just going back and look at port numbers. So that's a practical example of where you can use application recognition or traffic fingerprinting within a network. If you want to try out traffic fingerprinting on your network, then go to our website www.netfort.com. There you'll be able to download a free trial of LangGuardian software. Now you can install that on a physical or virtual machine and you'll have traffic fingerprinting up and running in minutes. Just need to connect up a span or a mirror port and you'll get to see what's happening on your network.